So did you see Kamala Harris yesterday? As soon as she came on, I shut it off. She is so unlikable. Just absolutely unlikable. You, you know, if somebody has the worst voice in radio, that would be me. Her voice, I listen to her voice and I can't stand it. You know, and you know she's such a phony. And it's just unbelievable. To compare this to Pearl Harbor and 9-11 and stuff like that is absolutely unbelievable. The it's people outrageous. who died, the families and so forth. And as you know, and I'm sure you've said it, the only person who died that day was in his patriot who was, uh, who was shot dead. But the same people who uh, celebrated the riots, the same people who celebrate Black Lives Matter and all, we don't need lessons from them. It, this, is, this whole thing is kind of a cover-up for Pelosi, who didn't do what she should have done to protect that Capitol building. And have you ever seen a more repugnant and repulsive person than Liz Cheney? Seriously. <laughs> just, just, just grotesque. The Bushes, the let me, Cheney. Uh, look, I don't let come me, on until look. six, you see. Yeah, <laughs> I know you got a long way to go, brother. Um, yeah. Let me uh, l- let me play something here for you. This is from Biden's speech yesterday. Oh, uh, can you? Can, yeah, can you play the part where uh, you know just because you lose? The former president of the United States of America has created and spread a web of lies about the 2020 election. He's done so because he values power over principle because he sees his own interest as more important than his country's interest, than America's interest. And because his bruised ego matters more to him than our democracy or our Constitution, he can't accept he lost. Mm, He can't accept that he lost. Please play uh, cut five for me, please. Here are the Democrats. Yes or no, do you still maintain the 2018 election was stolen? That's your language. My full language was that it was stolen from the voters of Georgia. We do not know what they would have done because not every eligible Georgian was permitted to participate fully in the election. And you know this. If Catherine Harris, Jeb Bush, Jim Baker, and the Supreme Court hadn't tampered with the results, Al Gore would be president... George Bush would be back in Austin. Uh, I don't see this president-elect as a legitimate president. You do not consider him a legitimate president. And Al Gore and Joe Lieberman got 547,000 more votes than George Bush did for president of the United States. Folks, you know it. I know it. They know it. We won that election! I believe he knows he's an illegitimate president. He knows. He knows that there were a bunch of different reasons why the election turned out the way it did. Let's go back to Florida. We actually won the last presidential election, folks. They stole the last presidential election. I think it's also critical to understand that As I've been telling candidates who have come to see me, you can run the best campaign, you can even become the nominee, and you can have the election stolen from you. Was President George Bush legitimately elected? Without voter suppression, Stacey Abrams would be the governor of Georgia. Okay, stop. They they cannot handle losing a single time. A single time. And they're now blaming insurrection on this president questioning the outcome. There's no question about it. And, you know, uh, when their people blew up the Capitol building in 1954, Jimmy Carter ultimately pardoned them. And whether on the ground blew it up in 1971, Clinton ultimately pardoned them. And one of the ringleaders was Obama's buddy, Bel Airs. And Mm-hmm. Then they attacked the Pentagon and blew that up. Then they blew up the State Department. Then they circled back in 1983 and hit the Capitol building again. Uh, really, January 6th is their May 1. It's their May Day. That's what we're dealing with here as far as I'm concerned. Of course, these are liars. These are hypocrites. They do this sort of thing. The biggest problem we have is the greatest enemy we have in this country is the Democrat Party. Whether it's slavery or segregation or Jim Crow, and now it's quote unquote democratic socialism, they never embrace Americanism. This party has been a a poison, a cancer on the on the groin 
of the, of American politics, really. And uh, and you see the reprobates that that lead it. Biden. Biden is a nasty man. He he joined in with the segregationists when he got elected. Then he tried to destroy Clarence Thomas. He tried to destroy Bob Borg. This is a mean, nasty guy. <laughs> Kamala Harris is as stupid as she seems, to be perfectly honest about it. And then you have Nancy Pelosi. I call her Eva Pelosi because she called those brave federal law enforcement men and women who are trying to protect the federal courthouse in Portland stormtroopers. Uh, now, of course, she loves uh, loves only law enforcement that protects her. But we could go on and on with this. They're so corrupt. The media corrupt. These people are corrupt. Look at Chuck Todd. His wife is a Democrat consultant. He worked for Harkin. George Stephanopoulos with Clinton. You could go right down the line. The, uh, the, the incestuous relationship between the press and the Democrat Party. You can't tell the difference between their propaganda ever. And I'd love to see their texts and emails. They're so worried about Hannity's. Can you imagine, can you imagine the texts and emails between people at CNN oh. and MSNBC? And Democrats oh, yeah. on Capitol Hill. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Let me By ask way, you this. I, I just that, did an... I love that sweatshirt you're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> you think you can get that uh, at uh, Blaze Merch? I think you can get that. Where? What's the address where you can get this? I don't really know. I get it for free. What the hell I know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine for free, too. I love yeah. it, uh, Mark. I wear it all the time. Um, let me ask you this. I just did an interview so with... Do, um, not on me. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I, I just did an interview with Donald Trump. In my mind, there yeah. is absolutely no doubt he is running again. I what agree. are your thoughts on, on him running? Is it the same kind of outcome? Who do they have to run against him? Well, uh, they're worried about him running again. That's what this is all about. Obviously. Exactly right. Yeah, they, they fear him more than anybody else. Uh, the rhinos, the never-Trumpers, fear him more than anybody else. We have a very good team. I mean, you got a lot of people. You've got DeSantis and others right behind him. But DeSantis is 43 years old. Um, you've got others. But, uh, you know, when you look at his presidency, it was an enormously effective presidency. You know, you and I backed Ted Cruz early on, and then after the nomination, we supported Donald Trump. And Donald Trump has been a far more conservative president than either of the Bushes, uh, than oh, yeah. either than the rhinos would ever want him to be. And I've come to really like the man personally. You've met him. He's very charismatic. He's a very nice man. He's a very kind man. They'll never show you that side of him because they attack, attack, attack. The yeah. thing is, and everybody knows it, look what they did with the FBI, the FISA court, the intelligence agents, these criminal investigations. We have never seen anything like this before. And now the big lie, January 6th, I can tell you they don't want to talk about what happened in the 2020 election. You're only allowed to talk about what they want you to talk about. We'll talk about whatever the hell we want to. And I, can I have tell to you tell that, you, Mark. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm rambling, I know. But even putting aside the ballots and the machines, I can tell you in Pennsylvania, they violated the federal constitution. And my wife was involved yeah. in that litigation. They violated the federal constitution. We stood for the constitution of the United States. These Democrats, their lawyers were all over the country, particularly in these battleground states, changing the rules through their their Democrat elected judges, through their Democrat governors, overturning what Republican state legislatures were doing, which is a violation of the federal constitution, in order to set the groundwork for Biden. And we're not even allowed to talk about it. And so when these Republican legislatures, 19 of them so far, have said, that we're going to fix this, not to change uh, the outcome of elections, but to get them back where they can actually be monitored, Jim Crow and all the rest. I mean, uh, tens of millions of people, they are sick of this. They are fed up with the, the, the drama that the press creates and the Democrat Party creates. These are the same people who have lied to us over and over again about everything. By the way, I Mark love Levin. <laughs> uh, Mark Levin, thanks for calling in, man. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here. And let's go.